<laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, July 28th goes to Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton. Oh, I can't tell you how heavy the mayonnaise is on this one, ladies and gentlemen. If you are allergic to that thick, cold, white sauce commonly used on sandwiches and hamburgers, then you may not want to listen any further, but we have to get to it. Okay, uh, Tom Cotton has called the enslavement of millions of African people a necessary evil. In fact, he said the necessary evil upon which this country was built. His last name is Cotton. What do you expect? Okay, he wears that name proudly. You'd wear that name proudly, too, if your ancestors were the ones profiting off it, not picking it. All right, Cotton is what prolonged America's most serious social tragedy, slavery. All right, from the 1830s to the 1840s, the common phrase was Cotton is king. So, of course, Tom Cotton feels like slavery was a necessary evil. Now, Henry Louis Gates Jr., once wrote, cotton was one of the world's first luxury commodities and the commodity whose production most dramatically turned millions of black human beings in the USA themselves into a commodity. Bars! So it's not surprising to me that Tom Cotton would take the stance he took. Now, now Tom Cotton uh, recently introduced the Saving American History Act of 2020. It should be the Saving uh, Americans White History Act of 2020, okay? It prohibits the use of federal funds to teach the 1619 Project uh, to kindergarten students uh, and K-12 schools, our school districts, uh, according to a statement from the senator's office. Basically, he doesn't want the truth about how this country was founded to be told. Let's listen to what he had to say. The New York Times should not be teaching American history to our kids, Frank. The 1619 Project is left-wing propaganda. It's revisionist history at its worst. The entire premise of the New York Times factually and historically flawed 1619 Project is that America is at root a systemically racist country to the core and irredeemable. I reject that root branch. America is a great and noble country. And I take it you believe that slavery is an important part of American history. We have to study the history of slavery and its role and impact on the development of our country, because otherwise we can't understand our country. As the founding father said, it was the necessary evil upon which the union was built, but the union was built in a way, as Lincoln said, to put slavery on the course to its ultimate extinction. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, that was not done in a peaceful fashion. <sighs> now, I need to bring light to these kinds of comments because we as a people need to know the unnecessary evil we are up against. And yes, I said unnecessary, okay? It's people like this human jar of Hellman's, Tom Cotton, who stand in the way of the true liberation of black people in this country, who stand in the way of true progress. Now, do you know this man, Tom Cotton, is widely seen as a possible presidential candidate in 2024? Yes, a man who believes slavery was a necessary evil in this country wants to be a leader of the free world. Uh, Nicole Hannah-Jones, drop one of Clues Bombs for her. She was awarded this year's Pulitzer Prize for uh, commentary for her introductory essay to the 1619 Project. She tweeted, if slavery, heritable, generational, permanent, race-based slavery, where it was legal to rape, torture, and sell human beings for profit, was a necessary evil, as Tom Cotton says, it's hard to imagine what cannot be justified if it is a means to an end. Imagine thinking a non-divisive curriculum is one that tells black children the buying and selling of their ancestors, the rape, torture, and forced labor of their ancestors for profit was just a necessary evil. Drop on the clues, boss, Nicole Hannah-Jones again. That is my sentiments, toast crunch, exactly, okay? Tom Cotton loves slavery. It's really just that simple. He loved slavery. He loved the idea of slavery because his last name is named after the commodity that kept black Americans as a commodity. And that's probably why Tom Cotton obstructs every single criminal justice reform bill in the Senate, because he loves seeing people incarcerated, because incarceration is simply what? Modern day slavery. We all know what that 13th Amendment represents. You've seen the documentary by Queen Ava DuVernay. And if you haven't, you should go read it, okay? It's simple. The 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution provides that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. You commit a crime, you're going back to being a slave. Simple as that. And that's exactly what people like Tom Cotton want. Do some research on the guy. That's all I ask you. Do your Googles. Tom Cotton, 
fought hard against the First Step Act and is the main reason it's not stronger. He also obstructed the Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Protection Act. Last week, he introduced the bill with Senator Kelly Loeffler uh, to create a gang member tracking database. And he's been pushing for enha enhancements for fentanyl in the federal system forever. He's also a huge warmonger. OK, remember that time the president wanted to buy Greenland? That came from Tom Cotton. And Tom also calls the pandemic, uh, the coronavirus, the Wuhan China virus, just like uh, his president. Listen, man, I'm not intelligent. I'm, I'm just articulate. Read that on YouTube yesterday. Thought that was very accurate about myself. Uh, and, and I pay attention and I read a little bit. And I have people around me way smarter than me who inform me about these things. People like Tom Cotton would be happy to have us back in chains. Simple as that. If it meant that this country's economy could be stronger. And what's even worse, Tom Cotton has no Democrats running against him for his seat this year. So he will be back in Congress and likely will run for president in 2024. Let's not forget this man's name. OK, so you know who not to vote for. OK, and how can you forget his last name when his last name is literally the reason there was a civil war? His last name is literally the reason black people were, locked, were looked upon as property to begin with, all right? And I'll even play white devil's advocate with you, Tom Cotton, just for a second. You think slavery was a necessary evil? Okay, I can tell you why it wasn't. I can tell you why it was not a necessary evil. It was just evil. Because even if you say slavery is what built this country, right? Which is true. My response would be, what the hell was wrong with your hands? Okay, if you came to America to build this country, why not build it your damn self? with the Native Americans and indigenous people that were already here. Nobody told you to kidnap Africans and bring them over here and violently force them to work for you for free. That didn't have to go down like that. You could have put in your own work and treated the Native Americans who were here good and built this country with them. And then we would, we would have all been starting on an equal playing field because we built this country together as opposed to getting a bunch of Africans to build this country for free. It wasn't a necessary evil. It wasn't necessary for you to force us to work for you. That was a choice, all right? Being a slave owner is a choice. Being a violent, murderous rapist is a choice. And so is being a donkey. Tom Cotton, you need to learn to make better choices. Please let Chelsea handle, uh, handle my, my, my white work. I mean, light work. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan mayonnaise. All right, well, thank you for that donkey of the day. Yes, indeed. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.